Alrighty guys, good morning. We're going to do Tangle Called Starlight today. Uh, first step is going to make equilateral triangles. Next step is to do these uh, little lines in between each triangle, just kind of sticking out a little bit. doesn't have to be out very far. And then we're going to make you can see this. Let me let me zoom in. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Okay. Then we're going to do these lines here. Going to the midway point on this. So here's the long line. Here's this little line sticking out here and here. And we're going to connect it right there in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. You couldn't see that at all. On this big long line. We're going to take this point and this point and connect them here. So it makes these triangles like that. See, like that. And then you can do all sorts of embellishments or whatever you want with this pattern, which is really cool. I like, I really like this one. This one's pretty. Anyway, I decided to do it on a black piece of paper. We're going to zoom back out so you guys can see turn on light. I actually found this uh, pattern originally on YouTube on Alina Light's channel um, called uh, just Alina Light but she she said that um, she was working on these. Uh, she doesn't usually do grid patterns but she found this one fascinating and I was watching her do it and I was like oh yeah I can do that. So let's give it a go. Decided to do it on black paper with a gold pencil. going to give myself a nice border just like that and then we're going to do like that and then something like this I know it says equilateral triangles but I'm okay with them not being equilateral this is sort of the way Alina did it in her video so I'm kind of following that and then in order to make the triangles, she went this way. Corner to corner, like that. something like that. Then in each one of these, I'm going to start in the middle. She just went like this. Right? Super simple. It looks harder than it is, I think. It's one of those ones that once you have done it, It, it comes out better than you expect because it looks hard. And I'm not being super careful on how big my this is either. I'm letting it just be. Right. And then on this one, we'll just have three three. These ones will have six. And that one will just have three. Six. 
six, six, six. Those each get six. Ones at the edges get three. Something like that. Okay, now we go to about the midpoint in each of these lines. So if you want to make a mark where the midpoint is, you can, but you don't have to. And we're going to go, I'm going to sharpen my pencil again. And I'm going to zoom you in a little. So we're going to go to here. I'm just going to do it down each line because I think that will make it easier for me to pay attention to where I'm at. Let's do it that way. I can see how it would be a more consistent pattern if you had cons more consistent triangles to start with, but I think this will be fine. Oops, that would have gone this way. That's okay. Uh, this will go this way. This will go this way. This will go that way. That way. Just trying to figure it out. Okay, now I'm going to turn it so that I'm going down another line again. Just make it easier for me. You do it however you want to do it. Alina does it each one separate, each of these separate. She finds that easier. I seem to be doing this in a quick and dirty way. Super sloppy. Absolutely, you could take way more time and do it much more neater. turn it and I'm going to do these other ones. Do that 
wine? I did. Okay. It's actually very easy. You just have to pay attention to what you're doing. And it would look it would look totally different if you um did the the first grid not as a not as a curve but I like my curved grids See how it makes a star here? Look at that. I like that. And I think I am going to go ahead and do extra marks in here. Really give that star shape a thing, I think. Like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Sharpen my pencil again. Two, three, four, five, six, yes, okay. Just putting some rice shapes in each of the star shapes just because that's what I feel like doing. You can embellish however you feel like. If you did the grid in pencil and erased it, then it would really look like, wow, how did you draw that? Because you wouldn't even have the grid showing. That would pretty be pretty spectacular, actually. Where am I going? I don't know. Shall I do a question while I'm while I'm doing this? Let's do a question. I've got a lot of pencil shavings on there. If you could go back to school 
and study a subject you are deeply interested in, what would it be? If I'm going to exclude art, let's let's exclude art because, you know, that's kind of an obvious thing. What would I go back and study? Um, gosh. Why did I exclude art? Art's the thing I want to, to study. I've been listening to an art history podcast lately. That's been really interesting to learn more about history through art. Maybe that would be. Maybe that would be something that would be fun to study. be also fun to study perception like color and light perception um, I think it's interesting how people see colors differently you know the whole internet uh, blue and gold dress thing I found that fascinating how what was it blue and silver anyway whatever that dress was that some people saw it one way and some people saw it another. I saw it both depending on when I saw it, which was interesting. But studying color and people's perception of color and how some people see more colors than other people, I find that absolutely fascinating. Uh, when, when I take a color test, um, and my husband does, he sees less differentiation in color than I do. Um, you know, usually those tests will start out broad, like, you know, reds, greens, yellows, um, to rule out, like, color blindness, but then they'll go into more specific within within the reds do you see different kinds of reds and i i can see them way more than my husband does look at how cool that looks looks like a piece of lace i really like how that came out does it need anything else i don't think it does although i think i need to finish this i think i need to make this go all the way I think so. More like that. Let's finish it off into the corner there like I did this one. I like it. It really looks like something like you would go, how in the world did you draw that? And it didn't take that long. Look at it, it's only 19 minutes. That includes me yammering and showing how to, how to do the steps. That was pretty cool. So let's sign it. Let's see, I want it to live this way. This one's called Starlight. All right, that was pretty cool, easy to do. That was better than I had anticipated. I thought it was gonna be much harder. Um, all right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on whatever video comes next. I don't know, you never know. I, 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 like I said, I never know. I never know what I'm doing from one day to the next. That's okay, you know what? 
I'm just playing and exploring and having fun and bringing you guys along with me. And whatever happens, happens. And we'll see what happens on the next video. You never know. I might find something new to play with next weekend. I don't know. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Go do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place. Don't forget to subscribe so we can get to that 30,000 so I can do a giveaway because I really want to do a giveaway. I'm gathering up uh, a bigger pile of art than I had anticipated before doing this giveaway. Open to everyone. Um, international too. Uh, I will... Um, yeah, international too. It's fine. Uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.